This is a complete astrophotography setup and it cost me 2,000 British pounds. But how good are the images that you can capture with this rig? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out. I'm Damon Scotting and this is Astronomical. So this right here is a complete astrophotography setup. As far as I'm concerned, this is the baseline for everything that you need to take long exposure images of our night sky. It includes a go-to tracking mount, your main telescope, a guide scope, a guiding camera, your main camera, and a couple of other accessories that enhance the quality of your images. Now, as we're all painfully aware, astrophotography is not a cheap hobby to get involved in. So it's really important to make sure that what you're purchasing is going to give you the results that you're hoping to achieve. Which is why today's video is largely furnished by equipment from Altair Astro. Alter Astro are a very well respected UK based company that ship internationally. They are most well known for providing high quality and affordable astronomy gear and their customer service is unmatched. I've been speaking with them a lot recently and you can tell how passionate they are about our hobby and that they will do anything they can to help. In fact this video idea was largely developed by them as a way to help beginners get started with an affordable astrophotography setup. Their website link and all of the products featured today are listed in the description below. I strongly encourage you to have a look and check them out. They've been around for ages, but they don't invest tons in promotion and advertising, choosing to let their work and the word of mouth speak for them instead. But yeah, the bottom line is I really like them and I'm more than happy to showcase their work in today's video. This video will be the first in a new series of videos in which I explain what you can see with different budgets and different types of gear. I've already started making a follow up video to this titled what you can see with a £3,000 telescope setup. So make sure you're subscribed for all of these. And if you really don't care too much about the gear and just want to see the pictures that I've captured with it, then I've included timestamps to all of the important moments in today's video. Okay, let's get started. So here is our complete setup, and you're probably wondering how I came to the conclusion that this is the rig that I should purchase for £2,000. Because let's face it, that's not an easy decision to come to, especially because there are so many different options now on the Tesco market as to what equipment you should buy. I'm going to start off by talking about the mount. The mount was probably the easiest decision I had to make in this entire rig. And that's because this is a Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI tracking mount, which is essentially a budget solution for low payload setups. The essence of this video is to keep the cost down as low as possible, which is why I've gone for this because it's capable, but also cost effective. At £535, this mount is essentially one of the most affordable go-to tracking mounts on the market. The Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI is actually very easy to use and you can control it remotely with its own user-friendly app. You can buy the mount head on its own, but I splashed out a little bit more money so that I can have the tripod and pillar mount attachments. Then moving on to the actual payload itself, the really important part of your telescope setup. I'm going to start off by talking about the telescope, which is an Altair Astro 60 EDF refractor telescope. Now it is a very small telescope, but it is what we like to refer to as a premium telescope. The glass used within this telescope is FPL 53, which is very high quality. The aperture of the telescope is 60 millimeters and the focal ratio is F6, which means your total focal length is 360 millimeters, which is fairly wide, allowing you to capture the majority of targets in our night sky. But I've taken it one step further by introducing a 0.8 reducer at the back end of the telescope, which actually reduces my focal length down to 288 millimeters and also my focal ratio down to 4.8. So f4.8 means that this is a very fast telescope. Now I'm hoping that if I properly align this telescope mount, I'll be able to take some relatively long exposure images with this telescope, especially because it now has such a wide field of view. But just to guarantee that I can take five, maybe even 10 minute long exposures, I'm going to also add a guide scope and guide camera. Oh. Yeah. Now I want to talk in particular about the Altair Astro new guide camera just here because it is very affordable and the specifications of this are incredibly interesting. At £129, the Altair 462 Mark II offers 1080p resolution and 2.9 micrometers pixel size, which is very nice. Pop this on top of your scope inside the Altair MG32 MIDI guide scope and you have yourself an excellent lightweight guiding setup. And then lastly, the final component of this setup is the camera. This is an Altair Astro 585. And what's really interesting about its design is that it actually implements a fan feature, but you don't need a separate power supply for it. It's priced at pretty much the same amount as all the other 585 sensors on the market. This is the same camera sensor as the one used in the Player One Uranus camera and the ASI 585. 
These cameras have become two of the most popular astronomy cameras on the market, and with good reason. They are affordable and capable of capturing spectacular images not just of deep sky objects, but also of the planets. You can purchase their most expensive cooled variant models for a bit more, but what's so incredible about the Altair design is that it's the first camera to not need an additional power supply to cool itself down. You can operate the fan with just a data cable plugged in. And if that wasn't an incentive enough to choose the Altair 585C over the two most popular alternatives on the market, well then the fact that it is also priced at 10% cheaper than the others really sweetens the deal. When you combine the telescope, reducer and camera together, you get almost the perfect field of view in terms of imaging the brightest deep sky objects in our night nice sky. And as proof, this is how the Pleiades look through this setup, which is especially nice considering our total cost is £1,746.50. So yeah, that about covers the entire setup that I'm going to be using today, and I think the last thing I need to possibly mention is that I'm going to control all of this using my laptop. I didn't think there was any reason to include this in the total cost of making a setup, but I am mentioning it for full clarity. The thing is basically everyone has their own laptop or computer, and the software that you need in order to control this entire setup and capture images is actually completely free. I'll attach some links in the description below for the software that you can use. In fact, when the guide camera here arrived, on the cover of the box was actually a logo indicating that you can get a year's worth of SharpCap for free purely because you've purchased this camera. And if you don't want to use SharpCap, you can of course use Altair Astro's free software, Altair Capture. And then if you want to go a little bit further and do an all-in-one setup, you can use a software such as Nina. Yeah, I'll attach links in the description below. All right, enough talking. Let's finally put this Tesco rig to the test. For the final image, I stitched together four images to make a 32 megapixel mosaic shot of the Markarian chain. The field of view of this scope is quite large, but you can always make your shots even bigger and higher resolution by stitching them together like this. In doing so, I've been able to include almost 50 more galaxies, as well as one of the largest black holes known to man, M87. My final thoughts, the conclusion of what I think of this setup is that it is in fact the baseline for a beginner astrophotography setup. This is everything you are going to need. It's the perfect foundation to then build upon. I'm already planning on making a follow-up video to this titled what you can see with a £3,000 telescope setup. And it's going to be a very similar rig to what this is right now, but the main difference I'm going to implement is I'm going to start using a monochrome camera and a set of filters and then maybe add an autofocus and a couple more little gizmos. There is a fair bit of flexibility when you add an extra £1,000 to your budget. So if you're interested in seeing that video and more videos like this, then make sure you are subscribed. Thanks for watching, I'm Damon Scotting and this was astronomical.